Welcome back to Team Tabletop. Today, we're going to be opening up some brand new products for you guys. The first one of which is going to be the Venusaur VMAX box. Is that coming out on camera right? Ah, there we go. Okay, what exactly comes in one of these? The cards themselves are not too bad. Open this up. Really kind of a shame just to open it up, to be honest. Great packaging. Got the nice little code card there. For your Venusaur VMAX. Got your amazing... I'm gonna autofocus knock this. There we go. Amazing Venusaur VMAX card, which we're gonna get a closer look at later on. Comes with one code card. For around two euros, you guys, give or take. Got your nice little jumbo card here. Got the nice sleeves that you guys can also redeem online using the code, I believe. Not too bad. I'm not the biggest fan of this one in particular because, you know, Venus was just a giant plant with a giant hat. Although my people are known for their giant hats. Four booster packs. We've got one battle styles. Two battle styles. Okay. A Darkness of Blaze. And a Sun and Moon base set. I don't know why Sun and Moon is there. I feel like Sword and Shield will be much more appropriate. So there you go, you get your four booster packs over here, one of these over yonder, and, of course, your promo card, which is what you really want to go for. And also the jumbo card, I don't really count these or anything, some people collect them, like a fiver if you're lucky. You guys can find this wonderful product on our website at tabletop.ie, of course, but I'm not too sure if there's going to be a lot of them left, to be honest with you, these things are flying off the shelves, so they are. Next box we're going to open is the Blastoise one. Team Blue or Team Green, head to head. Comment down below what you guys think are going to win. Honestly, I think Team Venusaur team. Team Venusaur is probably going to win. Not because we have the type advantage, of course. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Blastoise VMAX, same story here. I've seen some very nice decks made with the VMAX. However, it's very weird because you can't get the V without the, uh, the actual uh, battle decks, actually, yes. So here you, you get your nice co for the Blastoise with the tin. And you get your awesome VMAX, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit later on. More in high definition once we zoom in a little bit more on our product. Giant jumbo card, of course. Not gonna lie, between the two, I'm not too sure which one wins. I personally like the Blastoise more. I like that they're showing off the backs, though, but... I don't know why you're showing off the backs. The front is where it's at, but I'm guessing because Blastoise has a giant cannon on its back, we need to showcase the, bla the bass. The back. Here you go. At least we got the front facing sleeves over here. Again, same story, guys. Four booster packs. We got our battle styles. Two of them, and a Darkness of Blades, and a Sun and Moon, okay. So, Blastoise, you're going to be on the right-hand side, and Venusaur, you can be on this side. Alrighty, alrighty now. Who is going to win in the Battle of Titans, Battle of Starters? Clearly Charizard, but he's not here today due to special request. We're going to zoom in a little bit more so that we can see our cards a lot better. All right, let's start with our first pack. On the challenger side, blue side, Team Blue, Team Blastoise. We're going to start off. Okay, take this out. Here you guys go. I don't know what color it is. One, two, three, four. For Sun and Moon, okay. Are we going to get something? We got a nice Metal Energy. Got a Brian. Oh, Sugar. I hit the thing with mistake. Got a nice Krokov, Pella Pepper, a Grubbin. As we begin our assault, on to the comments. A Snubble, a Sandile, a Picky Pecky, Reverse Paris, and our rare slot's going to be none other than a Luna... Luna... Lunala. GX. One of the poster mascots for the actual game itself. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. So, Team Blastoise kicking it off with uh, with Lunala. Okay. Alright. Can, uh, can Team Venusaur do better? Full art version, please. Oh, Rowlet. Rowlet is a good luck. Here you go. A nice code. Four. 
Okay, this one, this one feels kind of weird. I'm not, sure, I'm not too sure how to describe it, it's kind of stiff. Okay, we got a Ultra Ball, Pella Pepper, Timer Ball, Rowlet, of course, Torcoil, got a nice Zubat, got a Gribbon, a Growlithe, Drowsy Reverse, and our rare slot is going to be none other than a Decidueye to go with our Rowlet. Sadly, however, not as strong as the Lunala from the Blastoise side. Alright, Darkness of Blaze. Can we get the Charizard? That's the real money maker. Think about it. We managed to get all three of the V-Maxes inside this opening. That'd be great. Okay. We got another Psychic Energy. We got a Breeder. Pokemon Breeder Nurturing. A Combustion. Starvalia. A Kufant. A Dino. Panzer. A nice Mareep. Schnubble. Reverse Wigglytuff, and our rare is going to be none other than- <laughs> Holy shit, two in a row, a Salamence V. Oh my goodness, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Team Tabletop, aren't we doing just amazing currently? What the heck? What's going on? How are we- how is this happening? Come on, Venusaur, you gotta bring this back. You gotta bring this back, Venusaur. Okay. I'm not asking much, but uh, as a fan of uh, plants, let's just say, you should be able to give me something a little bit better. Venusaur. Okay, Dartrex. We have the full evolution line now. Panpior, Titty Ursa, acting a bit cute. A Rookity. A Torchic. Reverse Lyron. And Vanillish. Regular rare. Two duds on the Venusaur so far. Oh, wow. This Blastoise is just blasting off, and I have, oh no, oh no, the first battle styles I ever open, and it's a green code. Oh, well, we'll see what it is anyway. Okay, a fighting energy. It's very poetic to go with the Venusaur, <laughs> to go with battle styles. Pachiritsu, oh, Cherubu, a Minifo, Silicobra. A Bell Sprout, Reverse Common, and Primate Single Strike. Okay. Not too bad. Can we get the Tyranitar from Battle Styles? Is my question. Okay. What we got? What we got? Nice little code. Four. Okay. One hit from Battle Styles. That's all I'm asking for. Electricity. Okay, we have a Scroll of Squirrels, a Buffont, a Crodavant, got a nice little Onyx Sparrow with the very nice pencil drawings over here. I'm loving the artwork. Cacnea, okay, looking a little bit in the middle of the desert. Luxio, reverse, and Phalanx. Really, guys? Really? We're, are we going to get a hit from our, uh, from our battle style boxes today? Only one way to find out. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Four. And let's go. Let's go. Fire. Can fire a match with fire? Okay, got an escape rope, a Luxio, a Markuro, a Tet Pig, Hone Edge. Okay, Electabuzz, a Bal Toy, Reverse Cherubu, and Rare is going to be Stone Journer. Oh no, single strike. How dare we? Okay, this is our last booster pack of Battle Styles for today, everyone. We gotta get at least one hit, right? Come on. Are we all gonna save it for our Battle Styles opening? Fighting Energy. A Buffont. Urn. Okay, that's rather ominous. Fermentus. Cubone, Ponyard, got a Houndar, Reverse, Tepic, and we ended off with another Primate Single Strike. Dupes already, how dare we? Oh wow. So throughout this entire endeavor, we managed to get two V cards from the Blastoise itself. So we got the Lunana GX and the Salamence V. Not terrible pulls to begin with. We also got the beautiful, beautiful full art Blastoise V Max, along with the Venusaur V Max and the sleeves. I think that's worth it just for the promos. I'm not gonna lie. You don't buy these for the four loose packs. You buy them for the promos. And man, what promos they are. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, you know, let me know we're doing a good job. Join Team Tabletop by subscribing if you haven't already, and there'll be plenty more videos and live content in the upcoming days or weeks, depending on our schedule, but I'll let you guys know in advance. And we recently reached over 1,900 people, and a big thank you for the community for bringing us up to those numbers, and hopefully we can get to 2,000, and then we'll do something really special for all you guys. But until next time, everyone, please be sure to look after yourselves, and <laughs> thanks for watching.